Hello everyone, welcome back. Alright, comic review. So, uh, yeah, I have the comic, the first comic of Batman and Zero Point, Fortnite, you know, that thing. I decided I wanted to do this, and basically whenever a comic comes out, after I, re I have read it, I'll um, each make a video for the review, basically what, this, what happens in it. I'll leave out a few details just because, you know, I want, like, to give the people who make this comic a chance, you know, like, I suggest you go read the comment, f the comics for yourself, sorry, um, I'm tired, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, um, I suggest you read the comics for yourself, but if you can't afford them, or you're just not allowed to, like, buy them or whatever, then I will, you can watch this video right here, I will basically give every main part of detail, I'll leave out a few, but, yeah. So, one more thing, I get that this is probably an obvious thing, but massive spoiler warning. Now, this comic doesn't really have many spoilers, aside from how Batman got to the island. But, other than that, I, you know, just spoiler warning. If you don't want spoilers, don't watch this video. Alright. So, basically, I'm just gonna, um, kind of just tell you what it's about. So, one story... Basically, he, let's see how Batman got to the island. So, basically, there was a crack in Gotham. Like, I don't even call it a crack. If When you see it, it looks like a weird purpley, like, lightning bolt just hitting um, Gotham City. And so Batman wants to um, see this for himself. And you find out there are actually a few people that, have actu that um, are running towards it and perhaps behind it. So I have a few theories on that, who that might be, but I'll explain that later. Uh, so he goes to it and meets Harley Quinn. So Harley Quinn's there. You know, something's up. And she knows why it's there. She she has, like, a reason. Obviously, you won't tell it. So after a cool fight scene, she jumps through and is in, at Fortnite Island. We haven't seen her yet, but we know she'll appear at some point. Uh, Batman is exploring this crack or lightning bolt. When he gets kicked in to the um, lightning thing. We don't know who has kicked him yet. But we will I'm sure find out. Either way though. Ooh someone with a grapple. I just noticed by looking at it. Potentially Deathstroke. Because we do know he will be there. And I really hope. Because you know. He's my favorite DC villain fun fact. But yeah. He, so he goes and gets into the lightning bolt. And awakes on the island. Immediately seeing that the storm is coming. He's kind of exploring around. And all of a sudden, he's ambushed by one of the skins. I won't tell you who he's attacking. So you can find out for yourself. But one of the Fortnite characters, not a very popular one, but still, has attacked him. He then pins him and tries to get answers. But he notices he cannot talk. As we all know, you, really can't, you can't really talk in the universe. He then tries to communicate with sign language, so this is kind of interesting. If your character knows sign language, they might be able to c communicate with others. Like, So if you're in the loop, and you and the person you're fighting know sign language, you could communicate. Now he was going to say, I am Batman, probably, but he just realized he doesn't remember who he is, so that's a problem. So after a big fight, and him winning, he just kind of realizes, you know, he can't talk, and just he just doesn't remember who he is. All he remembers is he's a trained fighter and he knows how to use weapons. Another thing is, so he's exploring around, kind of seeing why they're fighting. All of a sudden, he's ambushed by many characters. One of the pages has like all the characters he's fighting. I will just give you a few of the characters. We have Vendetta. We have um, Magnus. Big Chuggis, Raven, Zenith, and uh, maybe even Midas. But, um, yeah. Anyway, he's fighting them a lot. He's trying to figure out what this place is. He thinks it's like a prison or an asylum, but he starts to realize it's not. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he sees they're also fighting Catwoman. So, she's there. Uh, you could also see just some skins in the background, but yeah, Catwoman's there. Man, that whip should be a pickaxe. That'd be cool if we had, like, a whip pickaxe. But anyway. 
So she's fighting a bit of gore when fear slices her. But, um, yeah. Anyway, they're fighting. And more fighting, you know, they're kind of winning every fight they're in. Uh, they realize that they're friends. Like, they don't attack each other. They kind of just notice that, like, they're friends or whatever. And they kind of realize that they've been something in another world. So they're good at fighting. And after a big fight, they're winning. When the storm comes in, kills everyone. And uh, also, including killing um, Batman and Catwoman. And then to be continued. Now we obviously know they're not dead since there's like five other comics. But uh, yeah, so most likely the loop will happen next comic. So yeah, pretty good. Uh, story so far is pretty good. Uh, for one, I for one, my theory on who kicked him into the portal, Deathstroke. I do not think he's behind everything though. I think or a theory of mine of what's happening is... Potentially, Joker is the one behind this, and the reason is, is he co he's communicating with Midas Rex, which is like one of the big Fortnite villains or whatever. And Midas wants to do everything to escape the loop. Joker wants to be in the loop because I mean, come on, it's a loop of chaos and death. He would want that, so like he wants to take his place. Maybe I don't know, but yeah. So that's just my theory. I think it's Io has something to do with it, but uh, yeah. We also know, because if you noticed, um, the last two comics are actually c in Season 7. So the comics carry over to next season. And um, we do know from the fifth comic, there will be an IO location next season. There will be the secret IO base underneath. We'll be able to explore that. So yeah, maybe it'll be like a cyberpunk theme or IO theme, you know. Maybe even a DC theme as like they carry over and also um, if you see in one of the Donald Musters like recent like posts or whatever he has Wonder Woman in the background and we know he's famous for teasing skins in the background like for example Snake Eyes. But uh, yeah so that's my comic review. Um, yeah good comic. I just wish there's a little more story in it. But uh, yeah next one should be some story. He hasn't really figured out it's a loop yet. He's more just figured out he can't talk. And they're fighting with that reason. But yeah. So make sure to subscribe. Hit that like. And notifications. And I will see you next time. I will be posting a few videos soon. But yeah. Goodbye.